Ladies and gentlemen, TJ Cabo. Adam Ronan. Do you know what this is? It's a fight stick review, right? Yeah. You guys have seen them before, but this one is slightly different. Why? Because we always do consoles. It's true. Um, it's also different in the sense that it's the final lineup in the Quamba stick. So this is the last one of all the Quambas that we'll be reviewing. Mm -hmm. After this, we'll go on to the Quamba Guardian bag, but as for Quamba sticks, this, this is it. it. It's all of them, until they make some new ones. Yeah. Which mm -hmm. Hopefully they do, you know, soon, and then they send it to us. Yeah, That'd yeah, sweet. yeah. But uh, yes, this one is uh, unique in the sense that it is not PlayStation 4 compatible. Yep. But it is- Not for the Xbox One. Not for the Xbox One, but it is PC. That is true. It is PlayStation 3, and it is Android? That's weird. What, the, what could possibly be the implications? Why would you even want to do that? Yeah, right? what are like, you like? You you're going to text feature? like Molly with your fucking... Yeah. <laughs> Yo, bae. Coming over later. And she'll be, be ready, boo. Extreme censorship! <laughs> <laughs> I wish we could leave that in so bad. <laughs> uh, so, cool. So, for you PC players, this has X input. It's got the D input, right? So, it should work for basically whatever game that you're playing, assuming if those games have it built in. Um, if they don't, there's a lot of programs out there, like, you know, Joy to Key and such, where you could take just about anything and map it so that it works with those games. So I think for PC players, they're actually probably pretty accustomed to doing those things currently. Um, PC players are savvy people. They, they are. Know what they're they doing. truly are. They can make things work, right? Um, we tested this on PC, just briefly, right? We didn't spend a whole lot of time on it um, in terms of like the PC gameplay. We just made sure that it functioned and did what it was supposed to. Which it does. Checked out perfectly fine. Um, we also did some interesting tests. We tested it on the Raspberry. That is true. Busted out the pie. Yep, on, and you can actually, if you were there, you saw it happen. Mm -hmm. You saw the very first testing of this. So what's interesting is in all of our other videos, we're like, oh, what'd you test it in? We're like, we did King of Fighters, we did Street Fighter V, we did Skullgirls, you know, we did Guilty Gear, we did Blaze Blue. This one was like... We played it on Street Fighter 2. We did Clay Fighter. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, like <laughs> We did like all these like really old school fighting games yeah. with it, which was really cool because then you get to see like, is it doing what it's supposed to? Because those games were like really sensitive to their inputs. Yeah. Like you had to be perfect or you weren't getting like a Primal Rage Fireball. Yeah, exactly. And not only that, but like the Raspberry Pi isn't an official device. So, you know, it just acts, it's a PC, so to speak. So when, right. when you, we hooked it up to it and we were able to, it was find it and we'd map the controls fine. You know, oh, it was instantly. That, it's like, oh, is that a what, Quamba stick? And we're like, yeah. Yeah, it is. Good job, huh? Yeah. yeah. And so that right there is like, okay, great. This is a fantastic stick for PC gaming. Mm -hmm. So we also did the additional testing on this one for Android, um, which is something that I think probably a lot of people are going to skip over. They're going to be like, oh, it's got Android, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, you're going to see a little bit later in this video. It's actually really cool. Like, I thought that's where this thing kind of shined for me. Um, but we're going to start off just like the build quality, yep. kind of talk about what this baby can do. So we're going to flip it down a little bit, set it up here. Step one, we talked about in the unboxing, fingerprints. Oh, yeah. I mean, this should be no surprise to you if you've been watching our mm -hmm. Quamba reviews. Um, their whole lineup is very fingerprint heavy. Mm -hmm. Not a big deal. It's easy to clean up, but you it, know. It wipes clean super easy. I don't know yeah. if you can see, but it's like just from taking it out of the box to review, it's smudge city. Mm -hmm. uh, whatever. Right. Um, so standard 30 millimeter buttons, right? And it's just got like that traditional layout that you'd find like on a TE2. Um, so if you had like a dedicated PC stick or dedicated Android stick and you had one on your PS4, you'd be able to go back and forth flawlessly. Now these are no their proprietary Quamba buttons, yes? That is correct. Mm. Yeah. So uh, no stand one. In this guy. Um, however, you could switch them out very easily, right? Because yeah. it's just a click, switch the cable, boom. We've done lots of videos on it before. You guys know what it looks like. Yep. Uh, we didn't actually same you know, process unless you did it when you had it, but we didn't pop it open. But it's this similar type of deal. Um, okay. So six screws. It's probably yeah. very similar to the drone. You can mm -hmm. check that review. Um, of course, that quick word of caution is that if you are going to do that, you're going to avoid the warranty in doing so because behind the little warranty sticker is where one of the screws lives. You pop a hole in it warranty over they've assumed that you've opened it up and wrecked things hopefully you can do it safely we've mm -hmm. done a million videos on it we've switched a million buttons in our day there's no reason that you should be messing anything up that bad yep pretty easy to do yeah um standard button fair this is your uh, options button mm -hmm. options uh, and then it's got um, a menu button on it turbo um which could be used more so for some of those android games like mm -hmm. galaga for instance or those types of things yes um it's got a mode button on there as well um mode button of course just gonna let you switch between the um the d-pad or if you want it to be like on a left joystick setting um just keep it on d-pad yeah. You know, if you're doing like fighting games and such. Right. Um, and then it's got select, and then it's got little LEDs that are hidden at the top um, that actually shine through kind of cool. It's not 
a very strong LED, so it's not gonna catch your eye, but because of this clear uh, acrylic panel that they have on the top, it does kind of light up cool. Like the red and the blue ones kind of almost make like a little purple. Oh, cool. A little R24 color looks. That's my guess. That's why they did it. Yeah, they were like, of course. Yep. Maybe they did that specifically for just this one stick because they were sending it to us. Exactly. Of course. Yeah, the others nice. maybe don't have that. Yeah, so right. you're out of luck. Um, in terms of functionality, it does what it's supposed to do, mm -hmm. right? And we, had, we had no issues with yeah. it. I mean, you can throw fireballs, DPs, uh, turn the butter, whatever you need to do for you geek players out there. Um, again, this is uh, the Quamba guts on the inside of this. Um, I watched some mod videos on it. We don't have any intentions of modding this guy. Mm -hmm. We've got a ton of sticks. We've got our own uh, custom modded sticks. This one is more for office use. Yeah, like, this is for like if we need to play something on the PC, like we want to start getting to doing some like streams with like Mugen and stuff. Yeah. Um, and uh, or Mugen or however you pronounce it. But um, we'll probably use this for that. Plus, you know, like a TE2 or something like that. Or, yeah. Uh, or, like or I said, we were doing the um, the classic stuff on the Raspberry Pi, on yeah, the yeah, Pi. Yeah. It's yeah. super easy to plug this in and get it all packed the way that you'd like it to. Mm -hmm. um, I have, I did watch some mod videos though that showed like you can replace the inside of this Quamba stick with like Sanwa guts if you wanted. So if you wanted to replace oh, the, cool. like the actuator and the switch it is and all that stuff, um, it all switches out. Cool. So I think you could do that. You can also do like a Sanwa stick in here. Um, I saw one video that said the Hayabusa's don't fit. So be cautious if you think it's just gonna take whatever because it's not a very deep stick. Mm -hmm. right? no. It's not, it's not huge. It's a little bigger than a mini but it's not like a full size. Right. It's not It's not a big dog. Right? No, no yeah. it's not. It's like a medium size it's a, it's dog. Like a, it's like a... It's like a collie. Like a collie, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah like a collie, collie yeah. like a golden retriever or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah something along yeah, those lines, yeah. yeah. It's not a dragon. No. Which would eat your collie. What would this dragons eat collies? <laughs> no. Um, so that being said, in terms of like performance, um, the overall shell, casing, quality, for the price, I think it's pretty solid. And what is the price? So we were like kind of all over on that one. Yeah, so it, this retails MSRP at $69.99. Mm. Uh, but right now, at the time of this filming, it's uh, marked down to $59.99 on the ADARC website. Um, I saw it varies all over the place on like eBay and Amazon, stuff like that. Um, I would just buy from the source because they've got them in stock and they've totally. got it marked down. Um, don't yeah. go to eBay because I saw it was higher on eBay. Right. It's got craziness all over the board. Yep, so looks pretty. It's got fingerprints. It worked on PC, it worked on the Pi. Let's talk about using an Android. Yeah, because that's a very peculiar thing. This isn't something we would normally get into because mm -hmm. most of our sticks don't do that. This does. So tell me about, because you tested it on the Pi last night. Mm -hmm. What are, were your experiences in doing so? So I, um, when I was testing last night on my Droid, the one thing that is necessary is you have to have an OTG cable, which just looks like a USB to a mini USB adapter, which I have right here. Oh, crazy. Um, I couldn't find these in any local stores, ironically enough. I'm sure they were out there, maybe they were just out. Um, so I ordered a two pack on Amazon for $5.99. Cool. So you guys know how much that cost. Um, plug, plugged it into the tablet, and then I was able to play. I happen to have the Nvidia Shield tablet, um, which has maybe a little bit more gaming uh, capability than like some phones do, um, but that included their GeForce Now service. So I was able to test this with Street Fighter Cross Tekken and Ultimate Street Fighter 4. Mm. And I was like, ah, this is kind of cool. I love Ultimate Street Fighter 4. Um, I did time. have some button pathing issues, but I think that's maybe a design of a mobile thing. Like it wasn't yeah, allowed to It's, it's not a slide against the stick per se. Yeah, because this obviously we know it would let us path our buttons wherever else we wanted to. It just wouldn't let me do it in that program. So that's more a knock on the mobile version of Ultimate Street Fighter 4. Ultra? Ultra, yeah. Yeah, Street Fighter fan, guys. God. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so um, just be cautious of it. I, we're not particularly super versed in how Android gaming works, so if mm -hmm. there are other methods to play those games, you know, try them out. I'm not right. really sure, um, but that was the only issue we had. But yeah. again, not a slide against us too. So I also tested RetroArch, right? I'm not an emulator guy, um, but I, I tested it on there and I did like a. Um, uh, uh, Street Fighter 2, the new Challengers, and then I did a, a version of Street Fighter 3. The version was just whack AF, <laughs> as the kids are saying these days. Um, so again, nothing at the stick. It worked just fine, but the version that I got in the emulator was really weird. Mm. Uh, so I went a little further with my testing. What? We talk about it occasionally. Get the F out. I know, they're called fight sticks, right? Mm -hmm. Which means we only talk about for fight games. Mm -hmm. But they work for other games. Mm -hmm. Interesting fact about like there are two four boys. Myself, Lost Battle Gordy, we got some pretty awesome Pac-Man players around here. That's true. So I was like, not right here though. I was like, what other games would this work for? So I tried some testing. 
I played some Pac-Man and it worked. And I was like, oh, this is pretty cool, mm. right? Like now all of a sudden, like I'm really- I'm finding this out at the very same time you are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then um, I played uh, some Galaga, mm. right? And I felt like I was just playing Galaga. And mm. I was like, man, this is like really cool. Cause even though it's not probably what the primary purchase is for us, or maybe even a lot of our fans who come to us for fight stick reviews, mm -hmm. it was like a really cool side benefit. Yeah, it's like a, a, little, a little bonus feature. Yeah, totally. Like, yeah. you know, you're playing, you know, maybe a Street Fighter game or whatever on your Android tablet, and then you're like, ah, I'm tired of this or whatever. I'm gonna go play this game instead. And then like you play like an old school, you know, style. Like Galaga. Mm, that's cool. So what are your, what are your final thoughts? Would you say worth the, Say we'll we'll call it good at sixty nine because mm -hmm. that's you know what its MSRP is at. Yeah, so like say we're in the fifty to seventy dollar range, right? So it comes with the stick. Um, it did come with the additional feet. So if that's you're right. a PC player and you want to hook this up onto a desk, you can lock it on there, and they're obviously removable. They work with the drone as well as we saw in our last review. Mm -hmm. And uh, as far as we know, this is the only way to get those, unless there is a way through ADARC to get them out of cart. Right, yeah, we like I said, we didn't see it on their website. Maybe they can give us some insight on that. Um, but from what I did see and like what I got to play with and experience, I was actually really impressed. I was like, man, this is kind of cool. Like, cause it yeah. led me into new things that I don't do with my TE2, mm -hmm. that I don't do with my Obsidian, that I haven't done with like my RAP4. I've never plugged those into my tablet to play Street Fighter. And, and this guy's like, try it. And I was like, I will. Okay. Yeah. So, like we said, you know, um, like we're we're console gamers. We've always been console gamers. We've never lied about that. We don't like fake being PC guys. So, if you guys who are PC gamers have some other comments on this, um, there, there's like a whole section dedicated to comments on YouTube. That's crazy. I know, Normally, right? people use them to insult like, other people. Like, look right below me. It says comments. Like, if you look, if you scroll down, you'll see those. Oh, I see them. Yeah. Like. Look, there's one asking about the Panthera right there. Yeah, what's the Panthera? Do you have yeah. the Panthera? Yeah. When well, are we'll you getting get the Panthera? We'll get to that. We'll get there. Don't you kids worry. Um, so yeah, if you guys have some comments, let us know. Twitters. That's a good place to reach us. We're That's always place. active all day long. Mm -hmm. Boom, boom, boom. Mm -hmm. Notifications go directly to my phone and then I can respond to them. That's crazy. That's like a conversation. Because we're not popular by any means, so we can actually sift through each and every notification. Can you imagine right. if we had millions of followers and you like check your notifications and it was yeah, like, like 20 or 30 a day, that's yeah, easy to handle. That's crazy. Yeah, if we get any bigger, it's over, sorry guys. Let me tell you what, mm -hmm. let's shrink this down, and you can click that sub button. Subscribe. And those other two recommended videos. Mm -hmm. Those are fun, those that's are great, right. those are real good. Love you kids, love the Kwanba. Kwanba out. Appreciate it, Tanger. Guardian, soon.